America is marching forward into summer as coronavirus numbers spike and uh, Donald Trump's poll numbers seem to sag. Let me just spread up a good pan. Welcome back to Punchlines and its weekend wrap, the first week of July. This week we uh, continued to see action in the streets as people protest racial injustice and demand uh, police reform. And for some reason, we continue to have the great national debate about whether or not to use masks, whether or not masks are an attack on your masculinity, whether or not they are subjecting yourself to totalitarian federalism. The argument continues and Trump still refuses to wear a mask. So back up, girl, don't get in my space and cover freaking face. I don't see it for myself. I just don't. Uh... They're 100% American made in China and have been approved by both the CDC and the NRA. So you can bear your arms directly on your face. Gun masks. It's like stand your ground for your face. Now that's freedom. What's at stake in this election as you compare and contrast, and what is what are your top priority items for a second term? Well, one of the things that will be really great, you know, the word experience is still good. I always say talent is more important than experience. I've always said that. But the word experience is a very important word. It's in a very important meaning. How do you feel about becoming the face of political resistance to the Black Lives Matter movement? There was a particular incident in St. Louis that went viral where a couple came out and decided that people in front of their house exercising their First Amendment should be confronted with them exercising their Second Amendment rights. I was a person scared for my life, who was protecting my wife, my home, my hearth, my livelihood. I was a victim of a mob that came through the gate. Don't miss our interview with Lalo Alcaraz, the great Chicano cartoonist, where we talk about his work in cartooning and also on TV shows.